Hello, this is Tom from Vino 100 with your video wine tip of the week. Today I want to talk to you about uh, a set of wines that go really well with barbecued foods. As we're heading into the 4th of July weekend, it's going to be time to break out the barbecue, hang out with friends and family, and just enjoy the nice, beautiful sunshine, hopefully. Um, these wines uh, would be perfect for that occasion. I just wanted to talk to you about just this small sampling. You could go on and on with wines that go great with barbecue foods, but this is, these are three that I would reach for, personally. Um, and I will have for the 4th of July weekend. Uh, this one is to start off with, we're talking about a uh, white wine that's predominantly Sauvignon Blanc. It's from the Bordeaux region of France. Um, when, you, when a lot of times when people hear Bordeaux, they're thinking red wine, but Bordeaux is the region and the grape varietals on the white side would be Sauvignon Blanc and Semillon. Uh, this is a predominantly Sauvignon Blanc with a touch of Semillon. It's uh, from the Graves region of uh, Bordeaux and it's, the name of the estate is Chateau Magence. This wine is beautiful. It has nice soft citrus and, uh, and it leads to a nice rich finish with a nice little heaviness on the palate. And uh, it would really stand up well to a nice grilled chicken, grilled shrimp, or just on its own in the sunshine. It's a beautifully refreshing wine. So this is $12 and it'll be a great option for 4th of July. Next one I wanted to talk to you about is one of my favorite grape varietals, the Pinot Tage. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Pinot Tage is a hybrid grape varietal. It's a cross between Pinot Noir and a grape called Cinso. Two, historical, uh, two historically French grape varietals. Uh, it was created in South Africa during the 1920s. And then uh, it's the signature red of South Africa. Uh, this wine is a beautiful wine. It's uh, from uh, Cisanani Estate, and it's $10 a bottle. But the characteristics are it starts out with nice... Uh, nice fruity quality, kind of transitions to a nice deep, rich, smoky, creamy finish. It's a wonderful wine. It will stand up perfectly to uh, barbecued foods um, such as burgers or perhaps uh, hot dogs and also uh, ribs. It's got a nice fruitiness to it in the beginning that would stand up well to the sauce, uh, to a, like a barbecue sauce, and it ends with a nice richness to it that will stand up to the, uh, the strong flavors in the ribs. So in any event, Cisnati Pinotage, 10 bucks, a great wine. Lastly, I want to talk to you about is a red Zinfandel. Red Zinfandels go great with barbecue foods as well. This one is uh, from Paso Robles, California, Central Coast. It's uh, Sexton Zinfandel. Uh, it's highly extracted fruit. It's really deep and rich. When you pour it out, it has a really deep, dark quality to it, or dark, dark color. And um, it starts off with nice, rich, spicy fruit and ends just with a touch of sweetness. And it would stand up really well to rich barbecued foods, even if the barbecue foods have a little bit of barbecue sauce on it as well. The sweetness kind of marries the two flavors together. And uh, this is $20. It's wonderful. If you want to impress someone, it would be great to bring to a barbecue. And those are my three wines I wanted to discuss with you today. Have a great 4th of July. Spend time with family and friends. And hopefully we'll have some nice weather. And I hope to see you down in the riverfront. Thanks again.